Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Pulumi ESC in a serverless app to manage configurations across different stacks. So let's get into it. I'm going to create a directory and I'm going to call it ESC tutorial and then I'm going to cd into that directory. Now I'm going to create a new Pulumi project by running Pulumi new serverless Azure Go because I want us to use Go and we're deploying to the we're deploying a serverless app to Azure. So it's asking for the name. I will just say ESC tutorial and yeah, a dev stack is fine. It's going to create all of the things and let's just watch it do that. So now it's done. Let's head over to Visual Studio Code. This is my Visual Studio Code. As you can see, we have the main Pulumi program right here. And then we also have our function app as well as our web app, our static web app. So here we're creating our resource group we're creating our storage accounts we're creating our static websites and our azure blob azure blob container and a bunch of things here we are creating the function app and we are adding some app settings so in this project what we're going to do is add a few extra app settings and we're going to be fetching the values from Pulumi ESC and also some values for configurations that we are using to create our storage accounts and all these things. For example, this and this would also fetch from Pulumi ESC. Right now, we have some things in our Pulumi.dev.yaml in our configuration and some of these things, we're going to keep these things here, but we're also going to add more things to our config we're not going to add them directly we're going to import them through esc and i'll show you how to do that in a second but for now the first thing that we need to do is to set up esc in this particular project okay so now let's do esc env in its tutorial config and this creates the environment for us after this we can actually set our configurations and once i set it here i will go to pulumi cloud to show you what it looks like so here we can now do esc env set i want to set from my tutorial config environment and all our Pulumi configs must be in the Pulumi config objects. So I'm going to do Pulumi config dot storage accounts kind. So I want to pull this from the ESC. So yeah, I'm going to do this. And storage accounts kind is storage v2. Now let's hit enter. It's done. And I'll take you to the Pulumi Cloud just so that you can see that it's actually there. So this is my Pulumi organization in Pulumi Cloud. And I have some test environments that I have created. This one is tutorial config, which we just created two minutes ago and modified a minute ago. So now let's see what's inside. Yes, so we have our values and then we have the Pulumi config objects, which is where all our configs for pulumi will go so we've added oh i called it storage accounts king so i need to change this so we've added storage accounts kind and let's go add other configurations and then import them into pulumi i also want to add the storage accounts school name so let's do storage account school and it's going to be standard LRS. Oh, it's going to be standard LRS. One of the reasons I'm doing this is because I want to deploy two stacks and I want, and these two stacks 
are going to be using storage v2 standard lrs and a bunch of configurations that are the same so as opposed to setting the configurations multiple times and making this i also need to make this dynamic because i would have other stacks that would need to have different values especially if i am trying to create more premium web apps and things like that so I'm going to have a dev stack, which we have right now, and I'm going to have a test stack. And we're going to use Pulumi ESC to deploy both things to the dev and test stack. If tomorrow I want to have a prod stack that has different values, then I can just create a Pulumi environment for my production stack as well and put everything there as opposed to copying different configuration values across different configuration stacks. So now that we have done these, let me also set up the app setting that I wanted to set up. So I'm going to call this um, Key Vaults. And I wanted to add a Key Vault URI, or rather, a Key Vault name. And I'm calling it. Adora's vault. Okay, so now that we are here, all we need to do to actually get everything working is to add the to add my environments to the list of environments in this configuration. So I am doing environments and then imports because I want to import this environment that I talked about. And the environment that I want to import is the tutorial config environment. So what's going to happen is that the Pulumi is going to go into my Pulumi organization, Adora and Wudu, which I showed you earlier. It's going to go into my Pulumi organization and look for this environment. Once it finds this environment, it's going to import all of the configurations, everything under Pulumi config. It's going to import it into my config file and this is a lot cleaner and this is you know a lot more modular it can be more reusable and things like that and i can just come here and get all my configurations and use them so we are in the pulumi environment again because i wanted to quickly show you the configurations that we have and that they were all set so that when we pull them into our pulumi you know what the values are and what you should be expecting so we have storage account kind, storage account school, and key vault name. We have these things here. So now let's go over to Visual Studio Code and import them using the regular Pulumi config.get. And we would run a Pulumi up and you would see that the storage account created is of this kind and this school. And you would also see that if we go into our app setting, the key vault name will be right there. So let's go back now and do it. Okay, so I'll come down here. And the first thing I want to set is the storage accounts kind. And I am going to do a config.get and yeah, config.get storage account kind. Next is the storage account school. So I'm going to come here and do storage accounts SKU. And essentially we're going to do the same thing. Config.get storage account SKU. And as we're doing config.get, even if we don't have it in our config right here, we've actually gotten the values from the Pulumi environment and they're stored here. I will use them in a second. The next thing is our key vault name. And I'm going to do config.get key vault name. So now that we have these, let's come here and update them. So we're changing our storage account kind to this so that we can make that value dynamic since we want to use it across different stacks. We're changing our storage account school to this as well. And let's go to our app setting and we want to add key vault name 
to our app setting. So pull me dot string key vault name value pull me dot string this value. And now that we've done this, I will go ahead and run a pull me up. So this is done as we can see here. Let's go over to the Azure portal to take a look. This is the Azure portal and these are the resources that I just created. Let's go to the function app and go over to our configuration. It's taking some time to load. Yeah, so if you can see here, we have our key vault name app setting. And to show the value, we would see that it is set to Adora's vault, which is exactly what we want it to be set to. Let's also go over to our storage account and look at our storage account properties. So now we can see that it's a standard storage account, LRS replication, and storage v2 storage account kind, which is exactly what we want. We've done this for one stack, which is the test stack. And we can also decide that we want to do this for the dev stack as well and multiple stacks. This is how you can manage different configurations that spread across your different stacks without having to manually copy paste them everywhere. Let me know if you'll be trying this out. Leave a comment and I can't wait to hear from you soon. Thank you. Bye.